Hello and welcome to TFO Next Morning for week 17, the last week of the regular season, the season of Odin. So let's go over a recap over the final season games. We started with the Thursday night football with the All-American Alkies taking on the Robot Masters. And the Masters getting some redemption here. Alkies 21, Masters 24. On the Saturday night special, the Champs Chumps took on the Westeros Guardians. The Chumps were able to edge them out by a point, 28-27. to 27. The DBZ squad faced off against their brotherly rival, the Raider All-Stars. The All-Stars came out on top. The squad 20, All-Stars 28. 8-Bit Brigade fought off against the Azrothian Assassins. The Brigade had 14, Assassins 20. Celestial Defenders fought the Pallet Pokeballers. And the Defenders got the big win. Defenders 31, Ballers 28. And with that victory, the divisional champions of the Mad Pop, the Celestial Defenders, that tie came into play just like I said it would. The Stellar Offenders fought off against the Nocturne Maniacs. And the Offenders won 28 to the Maniacs 3. And this gave the Offenders the bad snap divisional champion. So we had the offenders win one division and the defenders win the other division. How about that? The weapon X's fought off against the beer gods with the X's losing. X's had 14, beer gods 35. And the beer gods captured the bad crackle division with that victory. It was a formality, but still. WWF Hoffs fought off against the Venture Industries. Hoffs got a victory, 28 to the Industries, 14. TMNT Torturers fought off against the Racial Slurs, with the Turtles getting the victory 14-7. Rap Kings fought the South Jersey Slashers, with the Kings victorious 28-3. to Slashers 3. The Whovians fought the G.I. Joe. Whovians lost 6 to G.I. Joe's 21. Lost Survivors against the World's Warriors. And the Survivors survived this one, 31 to Warriors, 28. Warriors go in as the number one seed in the MAD. And so then the Lost Survivors with a victory there. That was really impressive by them. Greek Legends fought off against the Rainbow Unicorns. The Legends got the big victory here, 30 to Unicorns, 14. And for the first time ever, the MAD Crackle Divisional Champion Greek Legends, they were able to go ahead and take that home. And on the Sunday Night Football, we saw the Hollywood Heroes face the Boxhead Capers. And the Heroes, without Al Bundy, mind you, were victorious, 17 to Capers 3. So the final standings here for the season of Odin, the fourth season of TFO, TFO 2016. So in the bad snap, the Offenders were victorious, 12 and 4. The Hollywood Heroes came in second, 11 and 5, and they get a wild card. And the Boxhead Capers were eight and eight, and they get the buy or they get the uh, wild card as well. Lost Survivors were eight and eight, but they just couldn't. The differential wasn't there for them. In the bad crackle, the Beer Gods captured the division at ten and six. Raider All Stars are second, nine and seven, and they get a wild card. And the others unfortunately weren't able to get that. In the bad pop, the TMNT Torturers they were nine and seven, and they took their division, and nobody in their division got a wild card. In the Mad Snap, the World's Warriors take the division, 11-4-1. And, and nobody else in that division will get a wild card. The Bad Crackle, you have the Greek Legends on top, 10-6 winning the division. Westeros Guardians slide in there and get a wild card spot at 9-7. Champs Chumps had 9-7, but the differential wasn't there for them, unfortunately. And the All-American Alkies weren't able to make it either. And the bad pop, the defenders win the division 11, 4, and 1. Rap Kings half a game back, 11 and 5. They'll get a wild card. So will South Jersey Slashers. They're 10 and 6, and they'll get a wild card as well. Uh, the Pallet Poke Ballers, unfortunately, were not able to be victorious this week, so they didn't get a wild card. And there's a picture of all the divisional champions. I mean, what a great year for all six of these teams. The Stellar Offenders are going to the playoffs for the first time ever. And they're going as the number one seed in the bad. 
uh, and they they're going as divisional champions. So that's it's an amazing year for for a veteran owner like Nick Dean. Congratulations, Nick. The Beer Gods with Evil Dave just they've had just an astonishingly amazing season. They had that four game lose streak though that really put them on edge. But these last few games they've proven that they're back. So it's going to be interesting to see how Dave's able. Now, Evil Dave has never won a playoff game, if I remember correctly. So maybe maybe this is his year. We'll we'll find out. Uh, the TMNT Torturers win in their division. What what a great story that is. Last season they were nine and seven and didn't make the playoffs. They didn't have the differential. Coming back this season, fighting in the VGV division. Uh, FK was able to overpower them and uh, super shredder all the way. You know what I'm saying? So congratulations. The World's Warriors, the Dale Johnson Tecmo Corporal Industries Incorporated, whatever his business name is for TFO, he knows how to run a TFO team. He is the divisional champion in that division two years in a row. He must have took some of that Tolkien dust from the Tolkien Tecmo heroes and sprinkled it on his World's Warriors because they are seasoned and they're ready to go. And the... Greek Legends getting the division there. Their first divisional championship there for Mikey. So good job, Mikey. I'm a big Barry God Sanders fan, so so I'm hoping they go far in the playoffs. And then the Celestial Defenders, the arrogant Chris McLeese taking his division. He's done it before and probably do it again. I mean, it, uh, did he win it last season too? I mean, he might be a three-time divisional champion there in that division. Uh, he's a amazing owner and a previous TFO champion. So, playoffs looking good. There's a, bam, a big block of it. So, you can see all the games, everything coming up. It's going to be a great playoff. So, join us for TFO postseason, season of Odin. Who will be Odin champion? And then, injury report. So, with the injury report here, I went ahead and highlighted people in yellow who are on teams that are going to the playoffs. So, people that are in white, it doesn't matter. that They're not coming back because they're out. They're injured forever for all as we know. Mark Summers is probably dead somewhere. So, that's just how it works. Uh, Snake Plissken's out for the Hollywood Heroes. Tim Brown of the Raider All-Stars. That's a big loss for the Raider All-Stars because he is a huge special teams expert for them. So, that's, that's a big time. Sir Lancel, the Westeros Guardians. Vast Stampede of the Defenders. That really sucks for the Defenders, but they have a bye this week. So maybe they can give him some time to heal. And Farkas of the South Jersey Slashers. That really doesn't matter because of who's coming back. It says here Al Bundy of the Hollywood Heroes is coming back. My understanding was he was shot dead. So I don't know what that means. Maybe the Westeros Guardians brought him back to life, I guess. I don't know. I bet you Clayton Willis has some sort of bullshit answer about all this crap. But you know what? He's going to be back, it looks like, for, for that game. Uh, Michael Myers, South Jersey Slashers, is coming back. That's real important for their big matchup against the Rap Kings. Uh, Mitch Owens of South Jersey is also coming back, wide receiver three. And Buster Rhymes of the Rap Kings, wide receiver two, he's coming back, trying to power up both those teams for their playoff game. Top five, four. Because we only have four playoff games going on. So my top four 2016 round one playoff games. Which what, what are the games I'm excited about? So number four, I went with the Capers versus the Torturers. So the, this game really doesn't have that much drama to it as far as I'm concerned. Some of the other games have some better drama. We're looking at two wild card teams. Well, I mean the Capers is a wild card team, but the Torturers won their division, but they won it at a nine and seven. Capers are nine and seven, so this is really an even matchup right here. You got Animal Animal on the Capers. You got Super Shredder on the Torturers. I think they're both 60-40 teams. They're not 80-20. So there's going to be a lot of pass in there as well. So it's going to be interesting to see how Admiral Akbar say, works under pressure. How Master Splinter, is that who their quarterback is? I mean, I know the Turtles are out there. Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, Donatello. So that's those are the bigger threats. So Well, the winner of this matchup does get to play the Offenders. So, but there's just not a lot of drama into this matchup for me. Number three, the Heroes versus the All-Stars. So, I mean, this one has a little bit of steam, a little bit of storyline going in here uh, with Al Bundy being shot dead because he attacked that child. Supposedly, he's going to be returning for this matchup. 
So it kind of the intrigue is there because of that. One thing that really is going to hurt, though, is the All-Stars missing Tim Brown. I think that's going to be what really costs them here. Tim Brown has had just an amazing, amazing season. And so without him, I don't I don't know if they can overcome the return of Al Bundy. So, And the winner of this matchup really doesn't win anything because they're going to have to fight the beer gods. And the beer gods are a slobber knocker. So that would be a more drama-filled game next week. Number two, the Kings versus the Slashers. So this one has a built-in storyline that's been going on for a few weeks here. Both these teams were really competing for the Mad Pop division. And then Chris McLeese snuck in there and won it right at the end, man. And uh, that sucks for both these teams. So both these teams are looking for redemption. And what makes this one a little sweeter is the winner plays Chris McLeese's defenders the following week. So it's a Mad Pop wild card weekend, brother. And so it's it, it, a lot of drama there as far as I'm concerned. Can the Kings overcome? Will the Slashers be able to be victorious? When they fight the Defenders, will it prove who is really the Mad Pop champion after all the drama from both, all three of these teams in that division? So a lot of drama. Love it. Good storylines. But the best game this weekend as far as I'm concerned, the number one storyline, for me anyway, is the Guardians versus the Legends. And this is a part of the Mad Crackle. Legends took the division. They were able to win. Guardians really came back from a huge deficit earlier this year. Champs Chumps were in the fight till the end. The differential just got... Westeros had just such a great differential. They were able to accelerate really quickly at the end of the season. And it made it very interesting. I've seen a little smack talk from both these guys about each other. And now they got to play each other in the playoffs. So this is a big game. Again, this is one of those that, you know... Who should have won the division? That's usually what I want to know. And then the see you next Tecmo. So this was a short one as far as I was concerned. I got to get it out, get it going, because we're going to have the playoff, Pro Bowl, reveal coming up. So uh, see you next Tecmo.